Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of The Shopping Spree by Betsy Haynes. This is in the Bone Chiller series, which is kind of like a contemporary of, and very similar to uh, the Goosebumps series, which I was always a fan of as a kid. Never actually read any of these, but and I can't remember who it was, but somebody left a comment suggesting I check this out, so I thought I would, and uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. So I'm going to read you the blurb, and then we're going to go through and check out some tabs. Bone Chillers, all sales are final. I took a deep breath and opened the door. Peering into a shadowy room, I gasped and shrank back. Oh no, I shrieked. What is it? Eric and Lisa demanded in unison. All I could do was step aside and point. Shannon's body was sprawled face down on the floor. Robin and her friends go to Wonderland Mall, looking for sales, looking for bargains. Too bad something's looking for them. And actually that bit where they find Shannon there, it does turn out in the next chapter to just be Shannon playing a joke on them. It's very, um... Again, very goosebumpsy in style in that respect. That each chapter ends on like a little sort of cliffhanger. So it's pretty easy to whiz through. I liked that it's dedicated uh, for Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Mummy, Dracula, and all the rest of my spooky friends. Uh, the layout's pretty cool as well. So like, for example, here you've got the chapters. The only thing I don't like is that there's all this blank space at the bottom of each page. Uh, below the page numbers as well. It's just a bit weird. Um, you know, too large of a border. But I guess that's maybe to make it seem a little bit longer. I don't know. It means you'd totally whiz through it as you're, as you're reading it. There are some creepy mannequins as well, so beware if you're afraid of creepy mannequins. This bit here has one of my pet hates uh, when American people pretend to be British. I see exactly what you mean, darling, I said, speaking with a bogus English accent. It's a terrible temptation. And then they start arguing with the theatre guy because basically they bought tickets to the movie and then they missed the start of it and they wanted a refund. And he gives them a refund, and I'm, like, surprised. I don't think they, they would do that anymore. They'd just keep your money and just be like, it's your fault. And then one of the characters uses a weird tent, so, uh, Come on, I need you, commanded the blonde. I had two of them trapped, but they managed to get away. The girl with a French braid laughed contemptuously. Not for long, they didn't. But they haven't captured them, so that's speaking prematurely. But then we do get this nice tie back to these kids as well who died in a swamp. And uh, I actually like the payoff at the end and the way it's all explained. Overall, I mean, I'm too old to be reading this for the first time, really. Uh, but I imagine I would have enjoyed it if I'd read it at the time it was out. Overall, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5, and I thought it was pretty good. So there we have it. That's what I made of The Shopping Spree by Betsy Haynes. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book, and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.